What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Council of Reeds. I'm Dylan, joined by Jason. Good day. Tommy. Hey, hey. Nitin. Yo. And this thing. It's an me. audio podcast, generally, Dave. Yes. Well, as well as video. The video. So, well, listening to your first time on a video, what are you doing? I'm, I'm, I don't know sign language, so it's great. <laughs> How's that working in the audio, though? It was a sign. They it's might. Sign we could have, like, possibly in the future, deaf people watching this on closed caption. We could have that now, mate. We could have that now, yeah. actually. Yeah. Like, Google, YouTube does that automatically. Yeah. yeah. Auto. I may or may not that. get it, probably. <laughs> no way they can decipher some of these high pitch things. <laughs> That's how auto asphyxiation <laughs> stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I can't wait. Inaudible. <laughs> Inaudible. <laughs> high pitched. Yeah, yeah. High pitched. <laughs> Just closes the browser. No, you don't want this. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> deafening <laughs> dogs. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so this week, surprise, surprise, our DC stuff is a week late. Yes, I. Uh, I thought that if the week before Thanksgiving came late, I was thought there was a probably high probability that week after Thanksgiving. Yeah. They've been pretty <laughs> good though awesome. recently. Yeah, They've yeah, been yeah, yeah, solid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Late for ages. And yes. you got some. Yes, yeah, we, we got, got last week. week. Yeah. Exactly right. Yes. So stop complaining. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll try week. my best. So, no. I'm sure some of the DC people were happy not to get 50 extra annuals. Yes. <laughs> yes. 12 bucks a pop over there. <clears throat> All right, so our featured titles are King of Spies and the very large, um, very very thick, if you will, thick. Avengers Double C, Avengers Fifty. Um, we're also going to talk about the fattest book of the year. Is it really? Uh, I think it's fatter than Hulk. Yeah. Oh. Or maybe not the DC page. No, we're talking anniversaries. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That don't count. They're not a real comic. This is a real comic. Okay, we're going to also talk about uh, episode three of Hawkeye, mm. sneak peek at the sequel to Into the Spider Verse, mm. um, and my film flashback, Turbo Kid. And I hear the groaning. Mm. Quite. Yeah, no. Somebody here didn't like it. Oh, someone here. Mm. Who is it? Okay. Not me. Before we get into all that good stuff, <laughs> we're going to give you the lowdown on our third week of movie double pass giveaways. This time, it is the culmination of almost twenty, almost twenty years of. Cinematic wall crawling. Thwip, thwip. Spider-Man No Way Home is hitting cinemas on the 16th of December. And you! Yes, you! Me? Me? No, not you. Oh, okay. not no, That's you don't good. count. Good, they like the last one. None of us count as people in this context. Mm. Um, we'll what? go into the running to win a double pass to see the movie. To learn how, head on over to one of our socials, Facebook or Instagram, and answer our super special Spidey question. Stay Tony Stark's favourite son. That context being alive. Mm. Yes. Okay. Let's get into the comic books. Cool. Alrighty. This week, Mark Miller and... Matteo Scalera. Yes. I thought that's how you say it, but I didn't want to say because I can't read. King of Spies, the new Miller World Netflix book. Um, obviously, his next uh, pitch for a movie or television show on Netflix. The last one was so great. Yeah, well, I think they'll learn their lesson there. What was the last one? Yeah. Jupiter's Legacy. Oh, no. was it was cheap. This one, this was good. I really like this actually. Um, Is it kind of like Old Man Bond? A little almost? bit. Yes. Yeah. Can like, you already do an Old Man Bond book? Or was that? Yes, yeah, Starlight. Someone did. It is Starlight. Yeah. It's sort of That's not like really a Bond, spy, but no. yeah, like the hero. Yeah. yeah. Starlight. Yeah. Isn't that like? He's That's like Flash Gordon. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was more like an Adam Strange. Oh, yes, yes. Same but, um, yeah, that's exactly what this is. He's like their number one spy. He's been put out to pasture. Um, spoilers. He's not well. Um, so he's, you know, like happens to a lot of people in that situation. They reevaluate their life. And obviously, he's done a lot of not good. Obviously, he's done some good. But he wants to go out with a bang, I think, and maybe fix some things. Um, I really liked it. Scarella's art. Really suits his. I like his stuff in general. Um, but stuff. This is what he does best. A lot, a lot of stuff with a lot of action. Because he's speed lines and he conveys movement pretty well, I feel. So Very I really like this. Yeah. Um, it was good. I, I really dug it. Anybody else read it? Nope. Yes. Is uh-huh. he coughing it? Does he cough? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's always like. No, nah, it's. Because I was watching a movie the other day. And the guy coughed, and it's like you could tell like, something was wrong. It was, you know, yeah. So the only times you really cough in movies is if you're sick or if you're like just smoked the MJ. Yeah, I see. Oh yeah, he coughs up a shit ton of blood. So yeah. there's no other reason like to cough. <laughs> you know? Well, because coughing 
It's like it in the right. bathroom. You don't see that really. No. And stuff like that. Cause you don't see sneezing either. Is it that? Because who wants to see that? That movie that had the mum from Almost Famous pooping in it when she was that Nomad Land. That's what everyone was talking about when that film came out. She won an Oscar and she was pooping it's in realism. it. Realism. Realism. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, they're out and about on the on the land and they're out uh, in their RVs. Yeah. Okay. What was it? Uh, we have a segue, but yeah. Bit. <laughs> It's Dave's special. Coffee yeah. and movies. First segment. Um, I've got it. I picked up books late this week, so I've only read two books, so I'm very keen to read this. So. Well, and one book is about four books. So. Yeah, so that, yeah, that was a big one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't get as much reading as I probably would have yeah, liked exactly to. exactly right. Definitely a Mark Miller book, by him, uh, last little... Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just... Any, anything that finishes with that as the last word? <laughs> book it. of the week for me. <laughs> um, yes. It was good. The, the little bit at the club. Ah, oh, that was great. I really liked that. That was, I, I really liked it. If you like Mark Miller, uh, it's definitely got that Kingsman vibe. You know? Like yeah. It's, it's just, he's a you know, retired Kingsman, basically. Nice. Um, His last name's King. Yes. Spoilers. Yes. Um, Don't even read it now. He's, he's <laughs> sick and his name's King. Jeez. Yeah. But I, it was, I, 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 I very enjoyed it. I very enjoyed it. Very enjoyed it. I was going to leave it, but you repeated yeah. it. Very, very enjoyed, enjoyed it. it. Oh, that I'm needs very, to be a shirt. <laughs> very, very needs to I get to your next book. Enjoyed. Yes. I like comics. Oh, you sniffy, you get the next book. Ah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Avengers! Issue 50 slash 750. Uh, Jason Aaron and a plethora oh. of artists. Hey! Oh, how about that? Is that a variant? Oh. No, that's... Yeah, what? no, because no, the one I've got... Yeah, that is a variant, yeah. Is it? Yeah, because yeah, the one... very similar, though. The regular cover. Oh, because that's got the, the that's got the masters yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. be the one I've got doesn't have that ad on the back. I want that one. Okay, you can yeah. have this one. Um, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, all right, so this it's the end of the World War She Hulk sort of storyline that being the last arc in Avengers. It also starts tying up a few loose ends of his run, uh, but then just sets up. I think probably a couple of years worth of where the book goes next. Or maybe with Avengers Forever, maybe not that long, but. It was good. At least a year. It was a lot of stuff. A lot to take in. Mm. Yeah. So many different, like you said, tie in, tie ups, and then follow ons, and then continuations and new. <laughs> where the hell? Like, we'll start with like spoilers, partly, but not majorly. Like Kazar. If you're mm. a Kazar fan and you're currently reading that miniseries, and you're really disappointed because you're reading that miniseries, just wait. <sighs> There's some amazing Kazar stuff the, coming if, if it happens. The Kazar part, just how good does McGinnis draw Kazar? Oh, just, yeah, oh, so best, great. Best looking Kazar since in Kubit. And, and I don't, I read this because it was Doom heavily involved, mm, and yes. I don't really read Avengers. Mm. But like, I picked up most of the stuff that's being put down. Yeah, because he's a good writer. A yeah, good writer, yeah. Should, especially on a book like this. Mm. There's like an anniversary issue. You and know, he's throwing a lot at you too. Yeah. Mm. That double page is excellent with all the um, yeah. past so cool. Avengers. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. That samurai Ghost Rider yes. looks so cool. And you've got other characters that are not necessarily in that past Avengers stuff in the book, but they existed yes, in like, yes. the, the canon and stuff. Yeah. And it's got stuff of the like Avengers BC, yeah. where it was called. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I wanted yeah. a, a, its own title, and the, but it's been spread out to, yeah, just throughout the whole thing, which yeah. annoys me because yeah. I wanted more of that from... When was that? What book did that come out in? Point one? No? It was, yeah, Legacy. Few, or yeah, right, something like whatever. that. A few years ago. Whatever. The, yeah, whatever. yeah, when they had that, like, you know, Stone Age Avengers. Mm-hmm. That thing was great. And I wanted more of that, but then it was intertwined between all the other Avenger books. Not Anyway, it's good. It, like, She-Hulk's back proper yep. She-Hulk. Yep. I did like the stuff with her and Namor. Yes. Well, the Namor Which, thing... I think that's part of the, probably the biggest yeah. sleeper of the book, to be honest. The Namor stuff. What is going on here? Well, yeah, that yeah. was the bit I was about to get to because we haven't seen anything of that for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And to see that that's they're on six one six now, and <sighs> yeah, there's a bit of shenanigans a- a- afoot mm. because Red Widow. And when are we going to find out who's under that hood? And okay, that answers my question. You don't know. No, no, no. Okay. and it's going to be someone, and right? And Squadron Supreme, to see what's just happened there with a real screw job, and then yeah. seeing yeah. Hyperion going through the Red Hulk treatment, the, well, the She Hulk mm. treatment. Um, yeah, very interesting. Is that yeah. what that is? <clears throat> yeah, so that's what. 
What's that? Is that going to beef him up? And no, 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 no. It brain, it's a brainwasher. What, what, that's, what they, soldier. that's what just happened in the past um, arc. The Red Guard, well, the Winter Guard? Winter Guard came and kidnapped her and had her in that room for God knows how long. Weeks. To try and, to to try break and brainwash her. To break her. Okay. But that was and all turn her into the Winter Hulk. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she, and she did. She was red with blonde yeah. hair. She looked excellent. Yeah. And then she... But with that Omega Red, like, coil things as nice. well. I, I was, Meh. You got Deathlocks. Yeah. I like Deathlocks. Or and just Deathlock in general. We're going to see some shit happen with Gorilla Man too, finally. Yeah. That's going to come back. Um, and we saw... I don't see where you really go with him, though. Ursa like Major. Well, Ursa, yeah, well, I think it'll be redemption. It's got to be a lot more redemption yeah, now. Yeah, like, What could you do to... Well, it's, it's more what Panther's going to do to him mm. to let him get a pass. Yes, yes. Which is what oh, I like. I can't run Stark. No way. No way. Yeah. That was the best, maybe my favourite line in the book. Yeah. So Once what, he's healed, I'm going to put him back in the hospital yeah. bed myself. So what and did then, Stark. Oh, he um he let the Winter Guard, oh, spoilers, he let, <laughs> he let the Winter Guard in to capture. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, speaking of Stark. That that's what Stark. is this? Yeah. So, so, he, di- that, different, different. Different, yeah. different, different. Yeah, 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 yeah both, yes. But that stuff was great. Yes. Yes. With Mephisto. Yes. Because that's a real, um reminding me oh, of okay. like, Banner, what's, what's, what's happening with um, Bruce and yes, yes. his father in Immortal Hulk because, yeah, like the... Yeah, was it Inquisitor of Iron? Is that what he calls himself? In yes. There? Yeah, 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 that was a great line. Like, oh, that was yeah. a great did, did you re- Did you not read this yet? Did no, I? no, I didn't read it. Oh, wow, man. Yeah, you definitely. <laughs> yeah, I, that, thought, I thought it wouldn't be uh, really friendly, friendly, but... Yeah, I, I think... But it does Nathan, look... I guess it answered that better yeah. than anyone. No, I... Like, I I, I, got, I understood take most of it, like because I'm asking me other stuff that's happened, but that generally didn't take away from me reading it mm, and yeah. understanding what's going on oh, that's yeah. broadly. Because the book just doesn't stop. And I think mm. he nailed it with like it's because Jason Aaron's a bloody good writer. Yeah. Um, he plots it out really well. You don't have to be completely caught up with everything that's been in Avengers, but if you are, you're going to get a hell of a lot more out of it. And like, um, it's not like it's a lot of exposition in it. It's just in their dialogue catches you up on some mm, little snippets. Very much so. No, it's very fast paced for how oh, long the book is. Bro. And I'm almost like, I want to put this down because it's got the chapters. Mm. And I'm like, no, I've only got half the book to go. I keep going. Like, it, but there's that bugger all ads in it too, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Is there any yeah. ads? There's, there's a, a couple. couple. Yeah, there's a couple. But, but not many, no. eh? Again, yeah. yeah, that hard page. Little... Yeah, that was weird. That was weird. Um, I did like all the artists in it. That was great. Yes, like, yes. All the different that. artists that were great in there. Um, the thing with Kazar and Galactus was yeah. flipping awesome. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So like the the Doom's new team, like yeah. the new Masters of Evil. Like man, Ooh. what an interesting lineup! Did you see who they are? Yeah. The so the Ghost Rider person. <laughs> oh, so essentially right. Doom is going across all the different dimensions to get the worst of the worst across everywhere. Yeah, him so. and Mephisto. Mm. Um, that Mephisto bit with as a snake mm. was. <clears throat> Yeah, that was excellent. Oh, a couple of issues ago when... Well, maybe probably more than a couple now. But like when the Council of Red... Oh, that was in... Was that in the end of Heroes Reborn? Yeah. Might have been, yeah. I've been waiting for some of that stuff to come. Because Mephisto's been the, the main villain the whole time. Just very in the background. The whole casino... There was the Doctor Strange casino stuff with Mephisto. And then that kind of... T- that's what I wanted to talk about. I, Jason showed me this earlier. Cross section. Oh, cross yeah, section. Like I love, I love cross, cross section. I do love a nice yeah. cross section. Show, show the people at home for the ones the viewers are watching. We got a cross That's section the of the Celestial Avengers headquarters. Yes. Yeah. I, I love at the bottom. It's like hot tub room. Yes. yes. Hot tub room. <laughs> oh, the hot tub room's been an integral scene. Oh, yes. I think I've seen that. Hulk smash. <laughs> <laughs> and was it at her at the start where she's? Starkest and hugging everyone. Yes. The couple looks on Tony's face and Cap. Cap doesn't care. Cap's just cheering that she's back. But Tony's face and I think it's Thor. No, it's not Thor's face. It's someone else's face. Um, are quite funny because yeah, it's <laughs> naked She-Hulk hugging her, hugging them. You haven't read this either, Dave. No. Okay. This is a lot to take. Again, I haven't really read Avengers for a little while. Yeah, fair enough. It's been consistently pretty damn good. Yeah. I've, I've, um. I've a couple of times it felt a little drawn out. Mm. I would say no, no. Oh, a little <laughs> bit of the Phoenix run felt a little bit drawn out. There's a couple other bits, but besides that, yeah, I really have enjoyed everything Aaron's yeah. done with this. Because um, yeah, Wade had it previous to that, and yeah, there was that yeah, no surrender. Yeah. It was okay at times, but it, it was better than what we had previously when it was what ended up being champions. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's a great spot now. Oh, it's to, the best Avengers run since Hickman stuff easily. Yeah, definitely. 
And even then, it's more Avengersy than that was. Um, it might be my favorite. It's the most event. To be honest, it's the most <laughs> Avengers run since pre Bendis. Yeah, why not be in the mansion? They're in the thing. Yeah, it's just good. The character lineup's interesting. Yeah, it's just good. A new character lineup's going to be interesting too. Yeah, yeah. A couple of. Oh, and how they've spun people out, like the blade stuff, is excellent. Mayor of Vampire Town. Yeah. Sheriff. 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 Yeah. Which is Chernobyl. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, the vampires. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And they they want you know the arc before they they ask for sovereign. Sovereignty. Yeah, Clement, yeah. Um, yeah. The the world grants him if Blade Sheriff. Blade Sheriff. Wow. How <laughs> Blade just not going ham on just dusting <laughs> well, all these I mean, vampires? In, in that issue where She Hulk's come through and smashed them all, and like Blade's there all dead. Ah, oh, so everyone's dead? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he whacks the last one. <laughs> so good. It just sounds so pure comic book. Yes, it is, man. That it whole is. run. It is. Well, that whole bit around Dracula coming back and being so sick and yeah. and de- de- decrepit, and they threw him at Chernobyl, and there's he's there eating three eyed crows and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, this is yeah. gonna be building towards really, really good stuff. And yeah, it has. Yeah, underrated book. I do believe very consistent. Very consistent. Speak of the devil. Yes. What a segue. DC versus vampires issue two. Yes. Was it just me and you read this? I would yeah, you so. read it. Yeah, you read it. Good. I, in general, I, I think this mini has been way better. The first issue blew me away how good it was. Yeah. I was just not expecting much because you know, like, oh, yeah, it's just a fun nothing book. Yeah, but it was a good non- mm. nothing book. This this issue was a bit heavy on the exposition. Yes. Um, but you 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 know sometimes you got to get that stuff out. Of yeah, way. if it's like a mini series, you got to get yeah s- yeah story. Is out. it twelve part or two? Oh, yeah. okay. So there's plenty of room yeah. for other oh. stuff to be happening. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I was like, if you're gonna just dump it all yeah. on me now, that's cool. Yeah. Because, yeah, if it's a whole issue of explaining and it's like four issues, I'd be a bit... wasted an yeah, issue. exactly. But, yeah, 12 issues, I think I'm yeah. more okay with that. And where it leaves it, like, I've just flicked through, where it leaves it, it sets it up perfectly for, to get it cranking in the next yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, got some awesome Green Arrow stuff in it. Yeah, that, that's my favourite bit. Yeah. Um, so the main bit in this one, all right, so if you didn't hear us talk about the first issue, or you don't know about the first issue, uh... Villains have been taken over by some the League of the, what do you call League of Doom Doom League of Doom Legion of Doom, Doom. Yeah. Legion of Doom uh, been vested with vampires and some of them been turned and most of them have been yeah. taken out though. yes yes yeah. yes and um, the vampires are going to go to war with the humans uh, a prominent uh, Justice League member in the first issue we find out is a vampire already uh, and he takes out the guy trying to warn everybody yeah and there could be more yes, as well yes I do really like that I think there's got to be at least someone else yeah um, so in this issue the prom- main thing in this part is Batman getting the, the kids together the Bat family and testing them on the secret giving a, a holy water in their tea to make sure <laughs> they're and, not and in the middle of the daytime yeah meeting in the in the sunroom and everyone's like why are we meeting during the daytime yeah. <laughs> what's going on what Batman likes to do. Yeah, and then yeah. afterwards, he's like, he's got crucifixion. Yeah, he's like, like, yeah, hey, just, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, on that page. He's like, yeah. checking everything. <laughs> oh, my favourite, like, um, after they've left, Alfred's there and uh, he's sipping his tea loud. Very loud, yeah. yeah he's, and he's like, like, I'm doing this so you know I, he's like, it's okay. I uh, bless your bath before you ran it last night. <laughs> because if you're a vampire, you would have combusted. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that after like all of his little tests once he knows after the sip groups okay here's all the weapons yeah yeah, like, yeah yeah once <laughs> I know you're good here's everything we got mm. and like Dick's like oh you can't expect it to kill they're already dead <laughs> <laughs> who says that was that Damien I think Damien said that or was it Jason I think, oh I don't know can't remember but yes yeah but yeah it's good um the the vamped up Just League member takes out Another Just League member. Um, that was very good. Um, and his reasoning behind yeah. taking him out as a priority was really good. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, man. He is a priority. Yeah. Well, I don't, you see, like, he wants to, he wanted to turn him. And the vamp said no. He would be too dangerous. Yeah. He turned him. Um, mm. How do we, how do we. Yeah, yeah. I want to say, it, it's like. It'd be, There'd be no one left. There'd be no no one left on Earth. Yeah, yeah. no no no, <laughs> no livestock left. Yeah, no source yeah. left. 
Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So they're like, no, you can't. Because, yeah, he's energy mm. intake and mm. metabolism. Mm. It's the yes. flesh. <laughs> <laughs> We've pretty much said it with Spoilers! Him. Some people are slow. I might not have got it. <laughs> um, but it's very good. But, like, I did like... There's a line about... When the Bat family, like, they're talking about, oh, how would you go? Oh, you take the villains because they're going to hide in for months at a time anyway and whatever. Oh, you, I would take the Teen Titans and the young kids because, yeah. But I think it's even Batman's like, they wouldn't be able to get into the Justice League. Yeah, they'll be way mm. too hard. I really yeah. like that. And you're like, ooh, yeah. Batman. Yes. Didn't see it coming. Yeah. Because, he, yeah, he should. Yeah. Yeah, every now and then, right? Right, he can't yeah. be perfect. Exactly. Then. That, again, he's human, right? That's yes. what we want from him. It's been very good. I yes. really like it. Mm. Highly recommend. Mm. Check it out, check it out. Um, all right, next up, The Death of Doctor Strange, Spider-Man. Um, so, part of The Death of Doctor Strange mini-event. Um, slash, which is written by Jane McKay, who also writes the Black Cat book. It's obviously Ben Riley, Spider-Man, and Black Cat together. So, it's, if you're... Even if you just buy the Black Cat, I would highly recommend. If you've been digging the Ben Riley Spider-Man stuff, I'd probably recommend that too. There's a lot of that in there. It's more of those two characters' actual other books than what's actually happening in the main event. It was just a good one-off. I really liked it. Um, just them doing a, a quest, a side mm, quest. Mm. Like, legit side quest. But not integral to the main story. Uh, no. Um, a little heartwarming. Mm. It's more about all the things that Doctor Strange does that we don't see a little Moon Knight guest appearance. Nice, yeah. I've got to Jed McKay. Yeah, I, I really liked it, but um, yeah, I wouldn't say essential, but um, yeah, more essential to the Spidey and Black Cat than it is to the Doctor Strange stuff, to be honest. Cool. But um, very good. I liked it. I liked it. Up right, next, Superman seventy eight. You read this, Dylan? No, I haven't picked it up oh, yet. Good. Good chance. What a bummer. I read it. Yeah, mm. it was good. It was good. I liked it. I liked how Luther's like. I'm smarter than yeah. Brainiac, <laughs> and he gets played because he's, he's in idiot. Best. Um, There's a lot of um, Brainiac, kind of not a lot, but like a bit of Brainiac yeah, yeah. backstory in there, Kolu yeah. and whatnot. Um, it's been great. Like, only two issues to go. I hope there's a second series. Mm. Like, oh yeah, I, I think mini series better. I don't wouldn't want it necessarily as an ongoing, but I would I would buy the next series. I think. Um, it's just. It, Luther, it's just every time Luther speaks. L- Luther is probably the most spot on. He's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, nailed, man. Yeah. He's my favorite part of the book. Superman's not too bad. Lois, I don't feel. I did like the bit where Luther kept calling her little lady yes. and he's like sad at it again. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that was the first time I felt that Lois. Mm-hmm. Um, even the jor mm. like, yeah. It, it, they watched that movie a yeah. lot to make sure it works. Yeah, it was really good. I like where this is yeah. going. Definitely, definitely. All right. Venom, you read this yet? Yep. Alright, better mission two. So tell us about it, Fums. Um, so continuation more around Dylan. Uh, so after the how can I say after the events of the last couple of pages of the first issue, um, those explosive events. Mm. Uh, so yeah, we don't really see much of Eddie in this, but yeah, more about Dylan and what's happened in the aftermath of the <clears> explosion, <throat> and um, still not sure what AG is. Because there's a couple of... In, I think they've definitely aged him up. Yeah, in, in the diner. It's man, not just looks, the Yeah, he's stuff. 16, 17. Like, he looks a bit younger there, but later on in the diner. You can't have him doing stuff at 12. Well, that's the other side too, so... It's like, you know, Franklin, that get moved up here and there on the quiet. I do like him um, when he's walking around town with Sleeper the cat and Venom as the dog. Yeah. So he's just walking... Yeah, that looks quite cool. Um, they've brought back... Um, oh, what's his name from Absolute Carnage... Um, Stern, not Stern. Um, Jesus, the, the, the senator. senator. Yeah, the senator's son. So the senator got killed at the end of that. The senator's son's now taken the place, um, and and like his platforms all anti symbiotes, anti aliens. Yes. So um, I was nice to see that tie into that. I thought I had to. I, yeah. I was yeah, hoping to like, because I'm hoping since. You know, D- Dylan's here on Earth by himself. I'm hoping to see um, Flash coming for sure, in. For sure, And Andy and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, their teamwork and, yeah, hopefully see Toxin soon as well. Yeah. So, yeah. It was not a bad issue. Yeah. Like, the first issue, I thought I was a bit... Like, it was good, but it was a bit... Yeah, I was like, ah. Oh. I don't know. I kind weird. of got where... Like, I know we're wanting more space stuff, but I think where with what's happened in the first issue... We're going to get a lot more Eddie Venom space stuff. It's just not going to be what we expected mm. as the space stuff. Like, he's still going to get back from wherever the 
hell <laughs> hell he is. Um, so... So this one, no Ewing, it's just Ram V writing. Oh, okay. Yeah, so obviously that's definitely the breakdown. So I think we'll get issues that are just a Dylan issue and issues that are just an Eddie issue and they'll split their writing over those. Okay, so it was Ram V that came with the last the last words. Uh, come yeah. with me if you want to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Explain the cat to me. So Cat is a uh, sleeper mm-hmm. who is a, another symbiote. He's been around about now for about two years. Came around... It's first host mini? First, yeah, first host mini, which was... Oh, no, let me just go back to the sleeper. Sleeper was created... Was it the Vietnam stuff? No. No, it wasn't. Sorry. God damn. Hang on. Yeah, quite a bit of venom last couple of no, years. No, no, you're gonna have to <laughs> sift through all that. <laughs> it was sort of like I think at first you thought it was gonna be a nothing sort of mini. It was like bags on art, and I think they're trying to make people because they just done the space stuff and the whatever, and like oh, we'll just give you an old school venom sort of deal. Mm-hmm. But it also tied into the space stuff heavily. Yeah, because he was the one he ended up going off into space. And without, he's like, his host was the, was it the Shia? Yes, yeah, something yeah. like yes. He had a Shia warrior as his, ho- a dead Shia warrior as his host because he had no, there was no one body left. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I need to get. Because I think that was basically, wasn't that sort of the deal? He was like the first one to go out and get on people. Okay. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, I just thought it was a cat and he's on the roof fighting. Yeah. Like, all symbiotic. He's like Dylan yeah, sort of essentially, yeah. It's like Sailor Moon. A lethal but it's, it's, would it's, you say? Oh. <laughs> yeah, so no, it was, it was. It was him Yeah, coming from the, the first one to go out, and then when when everyone was getting called to Earth because of Null, that's, he came. He was one of the earlier ones that came in. Um, okay. but, but yeah, he doesn't have like a... He doesn't have a, a host, so in Absolute Carnage, uh, <laughs> Flash uses him on his mate with his mate, and the guy didn't even know that he had the... Yeah, because he's just so dormant in him or whatever, right? Yeah. Right. But he, he and then the mate gets messed up, and you think, oh, no! Uh, <laughs> and then he's like, oh, he's okay again. Yeah, that happened. Wouldn't he know when the host, when the symbiote takes over? Well... Or does it, like, put it to sleep, the host to sleep or something? I guess he just blacks out sort of thing, maybe, I assumed. I think he had blacked out, and then he kind of took over yes. after he blacked out. Yes. And then... Let right. him fall back to the ground again, and that happened to be happened to be okay, yeah. if I remember rightly. From yeah, that's essentially. Essentially. yeah, that's essentially what happened. So, um, yeah, we like where it's going. Keep, yeah. keep it on. I want to see the Eddie stuff though, so I'm guessing we'll get that next issue. Yeah, yeah, it'd be interesting. And this it, like, is really close. Still, like, I really was quick. so surprised. Issue one was delayed by two months from its original announced date. Yeah, and then issue two comes out two weeks Straight later. Away. You're like, what? Yeah. I was like, was they they get rid of Hitch already? But now it's still Hitch. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on there. It's an interesting schedule, to say the least. Well, scheduling around books at the moment is mental. Oh, for sure, for sure. Everything's, everything's yeah. out of whack. Um, they're definitely picking and choosing priorities and yeah. what needs to come out before this comes out. Mm-hmm. And I think that would be a hassle of a job. Oh, yeah. Organising the printing stuff. Priority yeah. printing and... Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think that would take, more than even best-selling, what needs to come out before something else wrecks it and, like, Timeline basically, well, which they're not that big on keeping a continuity these days, but I think they'd have to be paying attention. They are. Like, they're still printing in front of books with like oh, tie-ins sure. and stuff. This make sure you know this happens before mm-hmm. issue three of yes, this yes. mini series and stuff like that. Yeah, but... I think they'd definitely be more mindful of the schedule yeah, sure, than yeah. ever. Uh, anybody else read anything else? I think that's all I read. I, don't know. Yeah. I feel like there was something else, but I can't remember what it was. Mm. I read. Um, I think like, the, the two minis finished off the Batman Reptilian. Oh yeah, how'd that go? Yeah, it was very disappointing mm. overall. Like it started out fine, but overall it was just a bit of a disappointment. A bit weird, bit too yeah, weird. Yeah, a bit. I didn't mind the weirdness because it's Garth Ennis, but uh, kill just, Croc, give him birth. Yeah, because apparently he was an experiment or something. Mm. Chemicals in the swamps where he lived or something. So sure. he's he gave birth like he's hermaph- hermaph- hermaphroditic. So he gave birth, and the creature was looking. That's why he was attacking the other villains because he was looking for mother. mother nourishment, yeah. and they had the stink of crocodile yeah, yeah, on them yeah, yeah, yeah. from meeting or whatever. The last few issues, the art got a bit brighter. Oh, so that was pretty cool. Still no inks though. It was all painted by Char. Like in the, in the back of the book, there's um Ennis's initial pic- pitch for the book. Yeah, 
which is cool because it was you know it was meant to be for with Steve Dillon yeah before Steve Dillon died um, and, and just the look of that book would have been totally absolutely. different. Absolutely. I would have dug that 100% when I was like to see it. And I like Lynn Sharp. I didn't mind the painted style, but I, I like his better pencils. Oh, for sure. Because sure, yeah. in the back of the book, he's like... His pencil work is amazing. In the back, he's got some pencil, like, breakdowns yeah, of covers yeah. and, and the stuff. dude is very talented. Oh, absolutely. I just think the colour palette was the too dark. Mm. Anyway, yeah, it was a weird book. Must very... have been a sale on black. <laughs> very disappointing. <laughs> um, mm. And The Me You Love in the Dark finished... Mm. How'd that finish? That finished strong? It finished how it finished? Yeah, it yeah, was basically yeah, yeah. a story of an abusive relationship yeah, yeah, between yeah, her yeah. and a ghost that lives in the house that she's in. Yeah. So she gets out. You know, he doesn't yeah. want her to leave because he's all jealous and possessive. Um, The last page, though, that looked a bit interesting. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, it would it would be a fine horror movie if it oh, was sure. done like, like, the story's fine. It just, I don't know. I just felt disappointed. Overall, I could have not read it. It's not something you have to read. You know what I, I think? It probably would have worked better as like an oversized one shot. Yeah, I was just thinking yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. You know, yeah. Instead of five twenty pages, mm-hmm. you do that in sixty pages. Yes, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Okay, a nice big fat like, a like, like Avengers sort of yeah. size, or a bit less than that to yeah. be honest. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, you don't want to. There's not enough meat there to expand mm, it. No. Because what are you going to get? You're just going to get it, more of the same. Yeah, issue. it'll read better as a trade. For sure, for sure. And it has finished. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's, that's it. Oh, yeah, it was a okay. pipeline. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it was just like... Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. Just... Yeah, fine. Yeah. Not... Not a wow. Not a wow, yeah. No wow, Dave. Yeah. Not a wow. <laughs> like, it was like, you know, only one DC, so I didn't really have... Yes, 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 yes. ...much to read. Yeah. And we talked about the rest. Yeah, sure. Dave, no reading? Nah, I've been away. I thought that was going to be the answer. Mm. Dylan, now you read. Nothing else. That's mm. it. Thomas? That's it. All right. Um, what's next, Dylan? Um, let's talk about the gigantic action figure we've got oh, over here yeah. on the table. So we talked about the Goliath that Necker was bringing out a few... Oh, a oh, bunch of episodes. Yeah. yeah. So he finally came out and the shop didn't get it because they couldn't. For yeah, whatever there's reason. a bit of a changeover of Necker mm. distribution. So they ordered it off so. a big bad toy store and, and it uh, came in. I think those should be changing hopefully in the new year. Where's the book? There's no book. It was, it's over there somewhere. Do I need it? Oh, the accessories. I didn't bring the accessories. Oh. Yeah, when it came in and I opened it, the big the box is pretty big. Massive. I didn't. I would. I thought it was gonna be like a regular. Like, look at the size of the, this pop. The scale. That's, That's a pretty big crazy. Big action figure box, mm. bro. I'll give them a close yeah. up of the figure too. So it's like the, the old thing. Yeah, the is figure is freaking awesome. Incredible. Look at that wingspan. What do we measure it to be? Third, like fi- half a half a meter. Yeah. Fifty. Half tip to meter. tip. Yeah. It's 50-odd centimetres. Huh. Wow. That wingspan. Tip to tip, eh? Yeah. It's great. It's got a tail. Show them the tail. Oh, i got a... Sh- okay. God. I feel like one of those Wheel of Fortune. One of those Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. What do you mean by one of those? One of the, the, the yeah. white ones. <laughs> it's a bendy tail. Is that uh, what you want It's not to supposed do? to bend. No, just show them the tail. That's it. Bring it back. <laughs> It is a pretty cool bendy tail. Two years old, Adrian Xenides. So it comes with like extra hands and that another head and other bits. Book bit and a book. Yeah, his face is awesome. Yeah, and he's got a snarly head. <laughs> his face is awesome! <laughs> Mullet. It's cool. And they're doing the rest of the gargoyles as well. I don't think I'll be getting them. Because <clears throat> that's enough room on your shelf yeah. For oh, yeah it's a whole shelf for them right? easily like, but then if they all attach to like a tower or like a building oh yeah well, somehow. the belt yeah, the tower that, oh, that they live in yeah. I would have liked for a folded up wing mm. that he can go around well, like, just like he it. wears it like because it's hard plastic it's not like a soft mm. uh, just like finally. a cape style yeah. Yeah. I think just as an added soft goods cape I mm. think would have worked that's fine. like a genius design for the characters where yeah. their wings kind of fold up and they become capes yes yes great oh, yeah so it finally... you watched something I do yeah you never watched it no never oh wow yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah it's on Disney Plus if you got Disney Plus check out the cartoon yeah if you've never never seen any highly recommend it was mm. one of the better um, cartoons of the yeah, yeah the very 90s. very um, treat like a kid yeah very s- animated oh. Batman anime series yes yeah. Yeah, wasn't the success wasn't... of that paved the way for yes. this because it's serious but it's not like serious no serious, no, but... no no but it's still fun, but it's mm. not gummy bears. Yeah, mm, cool. Yeah, like there's not um. Not gummy bear. I love gummy bears. Just you know. yeah, it wasn't like a uh, 
episode monster of the week sort of so no, no, show. No, it, was it was like what? an overarching yeah. plot. Oh. And Interesting. Stuff happens. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. Bouncing here yeah. and there and everywhere. Indeed. This one's show off my new toy. Yes. <laughs> That's very impressive. Mm hmm. Worth showing off. As next. Alright. Wizard. Present, wizard. Present right. the wizard. And there's continue Wizard Master. Uh, yeah, there's another episode, uh, episode, another issue of Wizard that really doesn't have too much to... wonder why they went out of business. Yeah. <laughs> we'll definitely Talk get more content out of those first few issues, yeah. the older issues we had. So this is June 2001. Over. <laughs> June 2001, issue 117. We'll wow. do the casting call. And the movie is G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. I'm going to know like five of these characters. All right. Well, movie. Ray Park as Snake Eyes is what... We got. Yes. Yeah. So that that was spot on with that one. Makes sense. Yeah. Got Laura Propon and Scarlet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's got yeah. Better than the one we got. I don't even know who that was. Oh, yeah. I've seen her in a couple of things before. I can't remember her name, though. <laughs> was this Snipes' his stalker? I don't know. I don't know much G.I. Joe. That's just... Where's this Snipes? Mm. Yeah, playing a black character action movie, right? Like, that's just what that mm. is. Kurt is Russell strong? as Flint. Yep, fair enough. Michael Clark Duncan as Roadblock. Yep. Wasn't Rock the Roadblock? Yes. In the newer ones? Yep. Sort of. He's the new Michael Clark Duncan. Oh, wishes. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine Bell as Lady J. I'm down for that. Yep. Yep. Anything. I think Wizards were a big fan of Catherine Bell. She'll get a run a few times. I wonder why. <laughs> Howie Long is Duke. They like casting Howie Long. Howie Long is Duke. That's terrible. Wasn't he their Captain America pick? Yeah. Yeah. You got uh, Jet Li as Storm Shadow, which is yep. great casting. That I would, I would yeah. break. That fight alone. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right? Yeah. That fight alone, I'd watch that movie. Gary, I, I didn't watch that new one. Gary Oldman as uh, Cobra Commander. Sold. Yeah, I get that. Okay. Gary yeah. Oldman as any villain, yeah. I'm pretty yeah. going to yeah. go all right. Yeah. Pink as Zarana. I don't know who Zarana <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I know, thanks. Famica Jensen as the Baroness. I'll take that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I could see that. And Larry Fishburne as Destro. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah we don't want that choice. I guess that, that's not a bad casting. Yeah. Overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Duke's the only one I really like. Like, it, it's right. a better casting than the actual G.I. Joe movie we got. Channing Tatum wasn't good? Yes. He's never good. He's good in things. I don't know. 21 Jump Street. Uh, that's fair. Mm, yeah. Oh, no. This, this is the end. Logan Lucky. I haven't, I haven't seen, seen that. Ah, oh, Logan Lucky's excellent. That was movie of the year that year for me. It's him and Kylo Renner's brothers. Redneck brothers. NASCAR. NASCAR, NASCAR yeah. Stealing. No. I've still got that scene on there, my list. It's so good. I've got to watch it. It's worth it just for James Bond. Yes. Daniel Craig. Yeah. It's worth it just for that. I've heard he's amazing. This is good. Mm-hmm. That was my favourite movie that year. Mm. Whatever year that was. Two years ago, three years ago, five years ago. Well, I won't mention all of them, but in the price guide, they've got like they've got little um box stories sometimes. Yes. It's, you, sometimes it's like... um. Like an issue, if it's X Men issue, they'll do X Men. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep Sometimes it's jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one's um trade statue must own. Yeah, and the lineup's pretty must. Cool. Yeah, must. Like if they're getting the first ones, Watchmen. I'm not gonna go for all of them no. though. You know, Dark Phoenix, yeah. Ultimate Spider Man, the first one. Yeah. At the time, for sure. At the time, yeah. yeah. For sure, for sure. I mean, still, it's like it wasn't a bad Spider Man, right? It was great. <laughs> If you just want, I I think the the I wish the movie MCU or oh, sorry yeah. movies did it that. Should have been that, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, so what, much better than what we, that's what got. we're gonna get when, especially with the MCU when, mm. um, who's the mate in the, uh, um, Ned slash, yeah. um, what's it then, um, Genke or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And Ben just writes a movie in every comic, so. Mm. You get three hundred. You got Pedro and Me by Judd Winnick, about his. Mate from um, real, world? real world, who got AIDS and uh, passed away. Yeah. HIV. That's a that's a great book. It is very. Good. It's a fantastic book. Uh, Mouse, which is a Pulitzer Prize winner. Mm. It's a very good book. They too. changed the rules after that. Yes. Dogs. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. So you know you got Frank Literary Miller. Literary snobs. <laughs> but yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, yeah. The, the lineup's yeah. pretty spot on. I don't think there's any there that I would say doesn't belong. Like, it's not a dad book. There's some books that I don't personally... I think there was an Astro of. World in there. I don't think 
you need to own an Astro World. The Hawk World um, was probably a bit of a. Hawk World is good, but yeah, yeah it's but not something you need to the, own. That was yeah. the main thing I thought was a bit out. But there was an Astro World in there. Yeah, like, Astro City. Astro City. Ah, right, Bender's Torso. Come on, get off the end of Bender's. <laughs> I like Bender's. And uh, Torso was good. Mm. That's a bit. Yeah. What's next? Spider Man Across the Spider Verse. That's what it's called, right? Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Part one. Trailer. Yes. Yeah, so oh. Are we going to be two movies? Seems mm. like it. Yeah, I don't like the idea of that. <laughs> Hang on. You think only two? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I expect a, like three to five. Yeah, franchise. Yeah. yeah. Across the spider. Uh, yeah. Like nah. they've they've milked how much out of home for the other Spider Mans. Yeah. So they're gonna milk a bit more out of Spider Verse, don't worry. I just don't like like it starts okay when it's coming down and then all of a sudden it goes into a show crappier art style it's like, oh. yeah I was going to say it, it seems like it doesn't have as big of a budget as the first one no but that's you, just one scene yeah, yeah. and like that's the, that was the whole point of the first one the, the varied styles mm-hmm. yeah the illustrating the different universes with yeah. the different art styles because yeah. I don't think that is like, yeah, there's yeah. neither of their universe yeah does it have to be crap though <laughs> I think that looked better than the main thing but that's just got to like something a bit different the main one just looks like everything else. It's an animated movie, yeah. right? And, and if it's yeah, like, about like, if it's in there for two minutes to illustrate it's a different universe, like, to yeah, but I have a feeling that. See, I'm afraid it won't be two minutes. It'll be like the whole movie. And it's not oh, even just a full trailer. It's like a yeah. little a bit random scene. Yeah. Because uh, the movie's not out till next October. No, they put all the movie in that movie. It's probably not even finished, Dave. <laughs> they no put way. all the movie in that movie. Is yeah, that yeah. They, no, they put all the movie in that trailer. All the oh. best bits are there. Oh, it's, it's done. Clearly, trailer. they just wanted it. That's it. No, that's what they put <laughs> in movie trailers nowadays. All the best tra- bits of a movie. You just well, don't fight Spider Man 2099 for like 20, 100%. 15 seconds. Dave. That's what they yeah. wanted. A big scene of 2099 to go, look, we know what teasing you last time. Yeah. He's the next big one to add. He was real beefy looking, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Also, 2099, like, with that art style. It just seems a bit odd. Yeah, but I don't think that's necessarily his universe either. Yeah. And yeah, the art style, were, if, it's right? coming still, if it's coming out next October, it's probably not fully polished yet. They're probably still, you know... Yeah, they worked on that front scene. Yeah. The Miles thing to get the sizzle reel out, something. It's probably not... But the parts thing, going back to the parts, you can't... They're too long between drinks to split up the parts, unless... Well, how much the, work goes into these films yeah. to make them as good as they mm-hmm. need to be? Yes. Unless they do, uh, they've made them back to back, and they've just gone, oh, we'll split too them. long to yeah, and then yeah. It's fast. That's mm. fine. But yeah, yeah that'd mm. be the only yeah. If it's more than a year apart, <laughs> don't care. Mm. Probably like three movies an hour each or something. Oh no 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 no! no. Yeah, they'll, 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 be, they'll be feature length, ninety minutes. For sure. I'm loving this disagreement day. <laughs> disagreement day. <laughs> it's called educating. Yeah. Well, educating usually means that sinks in <laughs> there's a difference between what's going on here and educating. I want Japanese Spider-Man with his Megazord in this movie damn right not Spider-Man India we're trying to forget yeah. Spider-Man India okay was that any good I don't even know anything about right. that you look cool Patel I was I think yeah. ooh the uh, maybe give me Mangaverse Mangaverse Spidey yeah yeah. it was a cool design yeah oh, cool I remember seeing a toy as a kid and I always wanted it. Yeah. You can buy it on eBay. Five bucks. Punk punk too. Five bucks. Oh, yeah. I reckon for sure. Punk for sure. With like just the full pommy. Do you reckon that's what's going to happen? We'll get the oh. hunters? Yeah. It's got to be, right? That's, what else are you going to do? That makes sense. Yeah. Mm. For sure. Mm. Cool. Ooh, then we're going to get like a Madam Web and mm-hmm. the whole thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. that'd be great. Oh. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Oh, Ezekiel? Yeah. Ooh, I'd like Ezekiel. Yeah, we he was get, cool. We even get some good stuff out of that. That yeah. was a really that Spider Verse. Yeah, it was good. Um, whole series was good, so I imagine they'll take a bit from that. Okay, mm. Hawkeye, Hawkeye episode three. I haven't watched any yet. I'm being annoyed. You haven't watched any Hawkeye. Oh, no. hey. One me back. Haven't had time. One me back. Damn you, Trick Arrows. <laughs> I always see Trick Arrows. Oh, dude. And I think we've. Seen much? Yeah, I got a bit of a stinger arrow, yeah. and that's really uh, bad. There's a the USB arrow from Avengers it made a comeback. Count. It's rubbish. <sighs> Trick arrows, um, so damn good. There was a weird shrapnelly arrow in Civil War, I think. Mm. When they were doing the cool Ant Man, yeah, 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 shot. But yeah, good episode. Yeah. Um, 
I like how the tracksuit aren't just Russians. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, really? I didn't really finish the series. I only read well, the first three. that's point. That's yeah. one of the ways that they... Yeah. You know, it's, it's, yeah. But most of them are. Like, the ones you see... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are. Yeah. So, the uncle. Yes. <laughs> Kingpin or swordsman? Either, either. Undecided, yes. Because that little noise that he made sounded very much like D'Onofrio. Yes. Spoilers, Dave. No, they say he's going to be in it. I'm hoping to not. Well, they say it's not. He's not going to be in it. Okay. He says he's not going to be in it. Yeah. <laughs> they all say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope it is because we just need to see him back. He's such a good actor and such a good character in those other TV shows. Like, it'd be crazy not to have him back in that role. But if I, I, I if it is that, Swordsman, it, I can yeah, I can handle 100%. it. I said the other day though, if you haven't him, it's all or none for the Netflix people, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. You can't just go cool. We love Tim. We love Charlie Cox. Everybody else out the window. I can't think it's. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> no way. Um, Finn Jones. He got I... better each time, and the problem with the show was not him. It was the terrible writing of that. Yeah, show. he was whiny and stuff. Yeah. That's not him. Yeah, that's no, not Danny Rand at all. The last season, he got a bit better, and the end. Oh, I was oh, hanging for more after that. It was good in the Defenders, like. Exactly. Crossover that was the best he was written. Um, he's not perfect, but uh, he's the only one that you pro- uh, you know. The Jessica Jones chick's she was pretty funny. damn good. Yeah. yeah. Um, Luke, Luke Cage is passable. I really liked him. You know, Punisher was good. He just didn't feel Luke. Luke Cage. Yeah, he didn't feel straight enough for my liking. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, okay. you know I think, mean? but he, he was okay. Hmm. I honestly think. The guy that played Bushwhacker probably would have been a better Luke Cage. Hmm? The guy that's in Cowboy Bebop. Hmm? The more I see him in Cowboy Bebop, I'm like, uh, man, I really would have dug yeah. you as Luke Cage. Yeah, anyway. Punisher was good. Punisher was perfect. Mm. So, like, if... And then the vil- some of the villains were good. Yes. Like, Purple Man was perfect. Yes. And, um, and a couple of the side, like, um, Nuke and... Like, oh, I, yeah. And um, what's her name? Yeah, the Hellcat. Yeah, yeah, the set up her. And, like, you don't have to do it at all. No, you don't need but to I go think, deep. But... I, I just don't want him to cop out of the multiverse. It's like, oh, well, Kingpin looks the same in all. <laughs> so it's just yeah. that they're, they're, they're a different Earth uh, and all that rubbish or whatever. You know, you know my feelings about touching the multiverse. I think it's a mistake. Um, but, yeah, if well, Finn it... Jones is the one weak point, you don't even have to use him that much. Yeah, mm-hmm. if there's, no, there's no plan anyway. Yeah. But and all or none for me. You've got a character that kind of occupies Iron Fist's space yes. anyway. Yes. For better or for worse. Yes. You know, you've got Shang-Chi. He's the magic kung fu guy now. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, white males are toxic, so we can't have them as a... 100%. Yeah, well, yeah. We, they weren't not going to be doing a, a white Iron Fist, I don't think, anytime soon anyway. Yeah. But not, not... To their own peril. Misty and Colleen, they were both great. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like... I it's think a, it's a shame because yeah. there is a lot of potential there. All or built, none. They built even a couple of years. If you're on, and um, what's his name? Your mate from Daredevil. <laughs> Foggy. Foggy. Ah, oh, Foggy. He was excellent. <laughs> He's the best. Yeah. Even Electra was good. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yes. She's a bit like, weird looking, but she was good. Yeah, yeah. I think the whole is worth the gamble. Yeah. Or the taken of like, mm. okay, Finn mm. Jones in there. Still, man. Yes. <laughs> oh, I need to see Melvin. I want Gladiator up. Gladiator, yeah. Ah. But yeah, all or none for me. Um, it'd annoy me if you just pick and choose. I really like the way this started with the Echo backstory. Um, yep. That got me in straight away, to be honest. It felt a bit more grounded than maybe the first two episodes mm-hmm. did. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, this episode really... Definitely got me back in. I was keen. I give a damn about Kate Bishop now. I didn't in the first two much. Um, She's the best part of this show. Yeah, by far. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just, just for some reason I just didn't just didn't dig those first couple of episodes, and um, this one worked out yeah really well. Um, the Echo stuff was really good. Um, really keen to see where the Uncle stuff goes. Uh, great finish to the episode as well. Mm. Um, good little. <laughs> Start to the next episode, I'm guessing. Yeah. No, nah, they're not starting there. <laughs> Another flashback. Yeah, for sure, bro. Um, Just a teacher. And you reckon they'll have history? I really hope. I don't think so. I hope no. so, though. They okay. have to, right? I, 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 if I had to guess, I'm going to guess is no. Because the, he, he's, the, he, like, the connection is her. 
and he's mm-hmm. swordsman. No. Yeah. Clint, Clint, yeah, Clint doesn't have the backstory he does in the comic books. No, but obviously, as his backstory is a shield agent, he had to have somebody at, like a shield. head shield yeah. training guy. Yeah. So well, he could have been easily the swords trainer in yeah. shield. Like I so said, you can have stuff mm. that and, still fits yeah, yeah, their yeah, Clint. Yeah, yeah. I don't think. I don't think so. Though. Uh, same, same, same. But I, you could make it work if you wanted to. Mm-hmm. But I, my gut says no. Yeah. But yeah, trick arrows. As soon as I saw that pim on the end of that <laughs> that arrow, oh, I enough said. Not saying anything more, Dave. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have to. It was just explained to you perfectly. Um, uh. What I like about it is it's light and gaggy, but not too gaggy. You know, we're talking. Mm. Oh, and we're talking about MCU as well. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I think, it, but the action is pretty full on. Yeah. And it's, the crime stuff's fairly gritty. Mm-hmm. It's just in that. And this right like, past yeah, colored with a lot of deaths. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And that car chase scene was excellent. Like, yes. It was like it, it was, yeah, that was Falcon great. Winter Soldier quality. Yeah. Like yeah, I was really surprised on how good that was. Um, need to watch it, Dave. Yeah. Don't need to now. Do it. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the car that. chase, the, the the fight with her outside the car yeah. and all that. That was great. Mm. Fantastic. Like Hawkeye in the MCU um, took the dog for a walk. Yes. Um, like like lots of archers in Hollywood movies it's always a bit stiff and boring yes. but they made it really interesting in this episode yes, very yeah. dynamic he's jumping around he's taking shots mid air yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, crazy does he do the, cool does he shots. Do the off the sky well, what do you screen? reckon Dave you got to do the money shot Dave uh. come on <laughs> he's not very flashy otherwise <laughs> if you've got something that you can that blows you out you've got to do it as many times as you can because it's all you got between the legs you know Calm down, man. Rick and Morty? <laughs> Calm down. Rick and Morty. <laughs> Not that kind of archery. Do you think the Ronin is Clint Ronin, though? That, oh, in the beginning? Yeah. That what she's after? Yeah. Because oh. um, he... No, you don't know when that, that time is? <coughs> well, she's not... Because if it's been five years... <laughs> In that, yeah, someone's had when, the armor, haven't they? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, because it's not then. Because, mm. yeah, it was five years between mm. the, the, the thing. It's probably that. why they were selling it to get rid of it because mm. they just used it in that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Didn't even think that. I didn't even use that inside. Yeah, yeah. Someone, yeah. Else? someone else? Someone else? Like. Oh, it's um, <laughs> Finn. It's Den- Denny Rand. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if, if the uncle's going to be thinking, you make it that. Give me Lady Bullseye. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But um, yeah, like I didn't even think. Yeah, you mentioned. Yeah, because the timeline, you don't yeah, know, right? It, timeline doesn't work out. Yeah, I get, she, that'd like, be awesome as Bullseye. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh no, actually, because I misremembered, she could be because she was an adult. Yes, yes. So, yeah. so you don't know. Yeah, we don't know how long ago that flashback is. Yeah. Or is it? Um, what's he? Romanoff. Yes, Lena. Lena. she's Lena. Because she's coming in soon. Yeah. Mm. And, and she's supposed to be in this, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, they so. reckon we might have even seen her in the background or something. I didn't think of it. Well, maybe not in the background. Maybe stabbing some people under a hood. Because if... Yeah. Why does... I, I, I just tried to think, why would Echo drop off going for Clint then at the end of the thing? Because obviously you're going to make her transition her into a hero. She's going to do her own show and whatever. Mm. Rah, rah, rah. What could Clint say? Oh, my family disappeared, so I killed your family. Like you know, like yeah. I don't think that's gonna be enough for her to be like, oh, cool, no worries, I understand. Yeah. So if it's not, if it's someone else that did it, do you reckon she knows that's him? I don't know. Because you know, he mentioned that Ronan's dead. Black Widow killed him. She's yes. like, you're lying. Or, yes, yes, you yes. Know, it's convenient that she's dead. Yes. It seems like she knows. Or yeah. She suspects. Oh, she t- yeah. at least suspects. Yeah. But I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I just thought mm, that ain't. Mm. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Because the suit had to come from somewhere. Yeah, because it. Look, that won't make it him. Because yes, I, think, yeah. I can't see it, right? Yeah, makes sense. You don't have any. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Like, because then she's got a. Because she's got a legit her. reason yeah. to want him dead. Yeah. This way, it feels like oh no, I'm mis- misunderstanding. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's justified in her wanting to have him dead. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And like it had to come, it had to be somewhere. 
Oh, and it's not hmm. that hard to replicate that suit sort of thing, really. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just like, mm, yeah, no, it's... I like it. Because I think I just. I'm not sure how much of Hawkeye killing people they want to really show. It's just, you know, I know they're bad guys, but. Uh, yeah. And her, where do you go with her? Why would she drop off for like, oh, no worries, I understand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, if there's really a bad guy and it's you know, the uncle, whoever the uncle might be, if he set that up, which obviously will be the deal anyway. Because yes. uh, why is the uncle there? Because mm. if it's just if it's just Clint as Ronan whacking mobsters, what's the uncle need to be connected to any of it? But where if it's the uncle has sent them because they're not doing their job mm. or, or something, power play or whatever, and he's sent somebody a scapegoat. It's already doing that, and you, yeah. you, no one notices. No one looks into it. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. Looking forward to the next one. Six episodes? I thought oh. it was eight. I thought yeah. you mentioned it was eight. Did I? Because, mm. yeah, we're halfway through. Like, that's... Mm. Let's have a look. Oh, what about the, um, the diner scene? When she's drawing the costume. Yes! Oh, yeah, that was awesome. That was really good. I saw something, I didn't really click on it, but apparently at the LARP scene, there was somebody yeah, in the yeah, costume. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I've seen a screenshot yeah, of that. LARPing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Six episodes. Oh. Oh, okay. Because there's not a lot there. And, like, there's been one of the complaints with the plus shows as is that they're a bit padded out. A few yeah. of them could have been cut an episode or two. So six, I think, sounds good. Mm. Yeah, I'm hanging for the next episode. Just like a trade. I'm worried it'll be like a whole flashbacky episode and I get none of the swordsman clink thing. <laughs> you know, they love doing that. It'll be the pizza dog episode. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, <laughs> his dog's dying because he fed a pizza. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it was about cheese. That's not a pizza. That's a sandwich. <laughs> cheese on a sandwich, though. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I got a pizza from Pizza in a couple of months back with that you know, cheese. I mean, I'm not, like, by, not by request. No! I'm like, <laughs> what is this? Is it all just full off? No, there's just no cheese on it. <laughs> How do you pull that out no, of no. the oven and go, yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, I'm ready to cut that? They must have done that by choice. Like, someone must oh, have. Like, must it have. Or, yeah, yeah someone asked for it and accidentally given it to you. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's got to come up with but it. But who wants a pizza with no cheese? I might have clicked extra cheese and they maybe thought, no cheese? Yeah, that makes sense. That's yeah, right. like, yeah. Because I'm like, I always, ask, ever. If I ask for extra, I then put none. I know, but you know what I mean? Just as you're making it, I don't know. Mm, yeah. But I was. This guy wants heaps, so It was the none. weirdest thing ever. <laughs> it's just a pizza with sauce and some ham on it. Did you ring him? <laughs> no, I just ate it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ring him and say. Because then we've got to wait another hour. No, no, I just say, look, I'm going to eat this. But hey, I right, like, when you send the pizza out, put cheese on it, you idiots. <laughs> just, they back. just went on my band list for six months. Yeah. <laughs> BYOC. Yes. Bring your own cheese. Oh. Pizza in is so good. I don't know. That's why they only got a six month band. <laughs> <laughs> no, like the other week, Uber got instantly deleted from my phone. Why did Uber do this time? They cancelled my order after already getting late, 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 late. Yeah, I've had that happen to me. And I was like, nah. And there's nowhere to complain. You can't complain. Mm-hmm. You try to complain, and they're like, "You didn't get charged. What's the problem?" I'm like, "Cause now it's ten o'clock, and I didn't get me dinner." Oh, yeah. Mm. All I wanted, if I could complain with some expletives, I would have been satisfied. But I couldn't, so no more money from that. <laughs> Yelling at the missus if I come home and I found you got Uber. <laughs> it's <laughs> on. They're long, banned from this house. Many long or nothing. She's there going hard to, to deliver Rue. Go here. Yeah. <laughs> banned from this house. <laughs> Okay, that will bring us to our film flashback for this week. I chose Turbo Kid because Steph would not stop yelling at me to choose it because she loves the movie. And I did too. Good choice. Yes. Fantastic movie. For me, do you concur? (laughs) It was definitely a movie. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, It was okay. Like, it wasn't great. I'm not going to say it was good. Because it wasn't... It was so fun. It was, yeah, it was it was fun and best bike chases like you've ever seen in your <laughs> life. Freaking grown men on no, no, push bikes. That, that last be scene day. was the best, where he's struggling to ride away, <laughs> but then you've got a stunt double flying down the road <laughs> two seconds <laughs> after. That, that made the whole movie for me. That and the um, the torso is leaning on on top of each other. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's just, it wears its cheesiness on sleeve. It's very earnest in this cheesiness. Yes, it yes. makes it so, so I, much better. I, if it didn't have the dude from Wentworth in it, I think 
it, it, he broke everything for me in the movie. She was good as the android. He was. Are oh, you talking about the the du- arm wrestler, the, uh, Aussie. The, yeah. the Aussie guy? If he yeah, wasn't yeah, in it, yeah. I think yeah. it wouldn't have went up. And not saying he was terrible, but he was. It was just out of place. It just it was out of place. Yeah. So I liked him. I liked him. He was great. No, he's he really fine, good. but like he's just out of place. It's, but, but I knew nah, him. I think he added to the charm. Yeah. 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 No, I think I've got Dave. He was out of place. Oh, I think it was great. The shot of him reacting to his arm getting chopped off is What's worth it. Yeah. Yeah, and he's like, no, I just love with the other boys just. Just got in his hand, just just he's still just holding on to his other arm. It's excellent. Mm. Um, so no, I not, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I probably wouldn't watch it again. But I'm not pissed off. I watched it. Yeah, like yeah. I I enjoyed the the ride. So I do like fun, Nitten. No, you. No. Are you sure? <laughs> but I think if they if it had an extra fifty grand. Nah, I think that it would ruin it. That makes the charm right. of it. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. No, just to get a better actor than that Aussie guy. Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. good. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, the, the, if you the, played the, more straight, Or just a different actor just that I didn't know. I don't know. He just... Yeah. But yeah, she was excellent. She... Oh, is the robot? Yeah, yeah the robot. Yeah. yeah, she was excellent. I thought the kid was really good too. He yeah, 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 yeah. He was good. Because um, I didn't pick her as a robot. And then it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, well... But like, I didn't at the start because yeah. and, and, I just thought yeah when she was with the dead dude I'm like I thought she was on crack or something <laughs> <laughs> I love the water thing yeah. that was yeah. great so well, cool that machine yes. yeah holy hell just the over top cheesy 80s violence yeah yeah because it started like Fantastic. smooth it started like wholesome and all that it's like and then all of a sudden you get to the pool party building yeah as it goes to yeah shit oh, anything with that much burton oh, oh, no, yeah. like i'm sold the movie starts off with stan bush <laughs> yeah stan bush man the soundtrack like the synthwave soundtrack yeah. was excellent yes incredible the bit where he cuts the dude's head off at the end and just spins the top <laughs> yeah. of his head yeah awesome i was that um it's like, you want me to teach you how to fight? And then no, yeah. he spits out <laughs> words from, like, Cobra Kai, right? Well, strike was... first, strike fast, no mercy. Is that it? it? Well, I forget what the yes, well, mantra was. Cobra Kai, but yes. Well, like, yeah. Yes. You see the Mega Man reference, Dave? Uh, oh. <clears throat> there was a goon at the end with a hard hat, a yellow hard hat. I think so. With a red yeah. plus on it. <laughs> also, Dodgy would be great. Mm. Yeah. I, lo- I-, I love the movie. And out of nowhere, right? You've got a tie-in comic book that just came out a couple of weeks ago. Mm. This movie came out, I think, what, 2015? 15. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Tie-in comic book just came out. There's a video game coming. They've been working on a sequel since it yeah. came out. So it's like, what's going on? <sighs> They're listening to us. Yeah, well, they need to, she'll come back. She's not dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure. Like, why would you bury her? Yeah, I thought that was weird, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're, you're a scavenger. Pretty... You can find a battery or two. <laughs> Have you just taken She exploded head it. Hmm? She exploded. What, what do you want him to do? Just leave her on the side of the road? She's a fr- he's a friend. Just carry. He had the hots for his robot. Yeah, I felt a bit sorry he didn't get yeah get take advantage of that mm. the fullest. Yeah, ripped off, bro. I think the weird science geek and all of us thought the same. Don't right? oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, weird science. <laughs> a good movie, today, uh, Dylan. Good choice. Yes. Uh, Give it an eight. Eight. Nin. I got seven point five. And a half. I'll go six and a half. Yeah, but, six and a half. Yeah. I just had so much fun watching it the first time. I've got to give it a nine. Was it, oh, yeah. was it in New Zealand or was it Canada? New Zealand. So, uh, feel I've always oh, yeah, there was like 17 different like, right. art credit things. Okay, there was, was a stop to... sign that was in French. Oh, maybe then. Okay. Maybe split. Yeah. Clearly. I'm like, yeah. there's no more New Zealand than it did. Because right? I was thinking Canada, they don't have the then... money to do split between two locations. No, but like pick up shots sort of thing. Yeah. Because there was definitely... French Canadians. Yeah, there was a definitely oh, def- yeah. was make it so yeah. Definitely a stop sign that was in French. Yeah, so yeah, pick up. Yeah, yeah. reshoots. You're not gonna Maybe. fly back. Yeah, yeah, I saw that spot stops. That that okay. that sign. Because yeah. yeah, I was looking into it. Like it started as a something before we started recording. It, it was short first. It was submitted for ABC of Death. Oh. It was tea for, teas for Turbo, and like like oh, you're not gonna get the spot, but we think you got something. Let's yeah. work on this. Nice, nice. With a weird brother, system, husband combo of mm, directors. Okay. Well, weird French Canadians. How yeah. do three people direct a movie? I don't know. That is a bit strange. Mm. Dave. 
Is it my turn? Yes. Well, Dylan just had his turn. Me, Dylan, and then you. Yeah, and then you're next to Nitten, and then you're two before me, and then three before you You're Jay. pointing at the calendar, and it's like... <laughs> yeah, fifth is today. Yeah, but then you said Dave. And, yeah. and, and then, then on the 12th oh, no. is a Dave. That's when we talk about your movie, which you picked today. Yeah. I can't believe this is being explained. It's like the fifth time around. It's not How are we explaining this to you? What is you're that You're next confusing? to Dylan. Oh, I must be seeing double... Four crusties? Because my movie is double trouble. Yay. You don't get a choice yeah, now, shit. Dave. Yeah. We're going to skip you. Oh. Where's that? <laughs> skip. That does not deserve a rim shot. Oh, come on. What is double trouble? I've never heard of it. Yes, Dave. Yeah, yeah, I was like, what is double trouble? Think of an old. Sp- I used to watch these like all the time. The old like spaghetti western kung fu movies. Okay. Starring Sp- like, Spencer and Terrence Hall. Is it Terrence Hill? Hall? Yeah, it's Terrence, Terrence Hill. Hill. Terrence Hill. Yeah. So I had like videotapes and I just used to watch them like in year like three or four oh, okay yeah so it's on Amazon so are we talking 80s 80s, 80s. Oh. it's like it, 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 they're it, it's, it, uh, Italian they do dress alike like in most in the of movie. their movies yeah so they did a whole bunch of buddy movies is this rubbish yeah. Dave? Am I, I mean you're gonna make me watch rubbish? probably <laughs> yeah I don't think it's it's held up it's, it's good when you're a kid double trouble double trouble okay it's on Prime. I, I haven't seen it in the past, so... Yeah. It's on Prime. Yeah. There's a lot of rubbish on Prime. Yeah. Yeah, but it's got all the Bud Spencer, Terrence Hill. Okay. Just watch one. Just watch I'll one. I'll watch, watch it. it. Okay. I don't think it's going to hold up, Dave. Let's see how we go. We'll see. Interesting. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that wraps us up for this week. Uh, thank you for joining us. We will be back same time. Same time? Kind of? Similar. Similar. We'll be back. Yeah. That's a warning. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs>